With Blyde's last game of the season less than three weeks ago, the players might have been forgiven for thinking they'd be sat with their feet up enjoying the close season break. However, Tom Weir has had other ideas and has called them back in for an end of season fitness test with the club sports scientist Anna Rosby in order to set his plans in motion for the upcoming pre season. We did some speed training and some endurance, so basically just to give us a base of where they are when they come back in pre-season, fitness-wise. The guys will be pretty tired because they've played a lot of games and it was especially loaded towards the end of the season, but it will just give us a, a base of basically uh, what they've been up to when they're off in their uh, off-season. And were you impressed with what you saw from the players? Yeah, very impressed, especially, like I say, with the amount of games that they have had and they've, they've had a couple of weeks off, so they, they, they will have lost a bit of that, that match fitness. Um, yeah, there's, there's always work that can be done and specific elements of a game that they can work on. Um, and we'll, we'll work on that. We'll get programmes put together for them so they can do that training um, while, they, while they've got time off or in between training sessions. The players completed a yo-yo test, a jump test and the dreaded bleep test. Damon Mullins' 17 1 attempt, allowing him to stay off the competition. Obviously, Damon, you've won the, the bleep test tonight with the rest of the lads. Yep. Uh, how do you feel about getting one over in your teammates? Oh, brilliant. Uh, obviously, I'm not sure about the timing three weeks after the end of the season, right? but like what we just said, I've maybe peaked a bit too early because when I come back for pre season, I've got a bit of pressure to live up that standard again. And is it is it great to be back with the lads? Oh, of course. Yes. It's only three weeks after the end of the season, but obviously it's good to see the lads again and see the same faces. But some of the cracks still horrendous, like, but never mind. Obviously, it's good to get a good blowout. Yeah, see, I know it's three weeks after, but it's good to see how the lads have been doing when they've been off just for the short period. Go on, do more than that, man, away. Go on. 16.56. Come on, come on. And do you think you'll be kicking around now before before pre-season, just waiting for it to start? Oh, definitely. Like, I see it every season. I keep myself ticking over, but I'm not quite sure if I do do that. But I will definitely this season keep myself ticking over so I'm ready to go again in pre-season. Despite some of the players not being able to make it, Tom was happy with what he saw from those in attendance and believes sessions like this one will give his players the ideal preparation for the new season. I've got a fair few players turned up and they took it the right way. It's an end of season just a fitness exam really to see where they are so when they come back at the start of the season we know where they should be uh, we know who's had a good summer and who hasn't you know you know the lads have, have put it in to come here from straight from work some of them's come straight from work in the in the in the proper hard training session um, I always try to encourage try to get the best out you need to push them out a bit more because they'll do what they want to do um, but to be honest I, I, I thought they were excellent and I thought the session went really well yeah and obviously Anna, Anna was a big part of the session as well. Do, do you think her work will sort of benefit when the, when the season starts, if it continues through yeah, pre-season? It, it, will, it will. She's, she's very good. She's very knowledgeable. Uh, and the lads buy into it. Um, what they need is, is that we need every little, little bit we can new to, to, to generate a better performance of the squad. You know, um, you know I think we had about 12, 13 players here today um, at the end of a very gruelling season. Um, starting to hold the programmes, there's a few on holder. So we'll probably, if you know, we'll probably have had about 80, 90 in there for the holders, you know. So good turnout, which is very good. They've got, they're going to have the um, exam tests at the end of uh, this week, so they'll know where they are fitness wise. And it's up to them, she's going to give a little, little uh, paper to tick over with um, what they need to do out of the season. Um, so it should benefit them, but it's up to them, they've got to put it in, because if they don't, they'll, they'll struggle pre season, you know.